my name is Amber Rangel. I started scuba diving with the organization Dive Heart. And then from there, I've just been basically all around the world scuba diving and meeting cool people to continuously becoming independent and just learning more about myself and the process. I come on these trips with an extremely positive attitude. I personally like to be in control and direct my care as much as possible. I like to be descriptive. I like to know where my gear is. I like to know who is helping me transfer. I like to know all of my dive master's names, the captain's name, every part of the plan I like to go through thoroughly. And then I like to go through a second plan. And sometimes people think that's too extreme, but it's just to assure more trust, and confidence and then if something were to happen then we're all safe no matter what. I'm Adora Wrangle. I'm Amber's sister. When Amber was first injured, I was not very good at transferring at all. She would slide in front of me and then I was just full panic mode. But then there were things that I found that worked for me and things that worked for us and then it's much much easier to do. We both know she's gonna put her arms around my neck and I tell her, don't let go. And so we're always like really close and tight at the beginning. And then, you know, I can move her, but she always like, don't let go, we need to stay together. But it's evolved and now I know I just need to, like I tuck in front, I tuck under her legs and we just do like a big giant hug until, and like, and don't let go until we get to where we need to go. And, it, but, and it's gotten smoother and smoother. It, and people are like, oh my God, how'd you do that so fast? It's it, it, it's our routine. Scoop and plop. Woo! We're ready to dive. Yeah! For me, some goals I have are to raise awareness in the disability community in regards to um, air carrier acts and damages to wheelchairs while transporting them internationally and nationally on flights. I also would like to raise some awareness for education in children with disabilities and people that need more assistance, more resources. I want to spread the word more at a professional level, hopefully. I feel like the goal list is so large. Um, something tiny, a goal this year would be to live independently outside of my parents' house. It seems so small, but yet it is so large. I want to finish college. I want to get my bachelor's degree. I want to be happy and confident continuously. I feel like sometimes it's a roller coaster. I'm trying to keep at my peak and I want to do what makes me the happiest while I feel good. The organization Dive Heart is a huge community of individuals with all different types of backgrounds. The teams and the partnerships that Dive Heart has brought together is a very tight knit. It is a very woven quilt. There is commitment, there is drive, there is um, a desire for volunteering, giving back. It's not easy to commit time, your vacation, your savings, your experiences to give back towards a disabled veteran or a young child that was born with autism. It takes a unique heart and a kind spirited person to even be interested or to learn or want to gain knowledge on Dive Heart. So the fact that Dive Heart is raising awareness, providing programs and creating networks all around not only the U.S. but um, globally, it is quite impressive. I'm very proud to be a part of the Dive Heart organization and I continue to support and thrive in any way I can. Today was a great dive day. Um, I think a lot of the teams are getting more comfortable and everybody's starting to vibe organically. Um, yeah, positive vibes, feeling good.
something that I would personally suggest to a newly injured person is to find a new hobby. Finding support are all major aspects to any type of recovery, to any type of grief program. Just to do something new. Try anything new for any type of feeling, for any type of emotion, for anything. Just try it. I have basically no worries. There's no fear, there's no anxiety. It's relieving. I can relax. It's extremely fun. And just being able to become neutrally buoyant and relax and zen out, it's really unexplainable. And it truly, it's a breathtaking moment. And every time, yeah, I can't even explain it. <laughs>